So today we are uh, going to cover three stories. Uh, today we're going to start with new lockdowns coming soon, just like COVID lockdowns. And U.S. believe Ukraine can retake Crimea. And also we're going to talk about Burkina Faso and Ghana diplomatic standoff, where Ga Ghanaian president is uh, talk a lot of stuff about uh, President Traore, Traore from Burkina Faso. I'm Bob Sankarian. Uh, do not forget to subscribe, hit the like, and thank you for watching. Uh, the new lockdowns are coming just like uh, like COVID, COVID lockdowns, if we, we all remember. Uh, we all should get ready for climate lockdown. The government across the, the world want people to give up their cars. And so they are trying to create a system for climate lockdowns. In big cities and areas today, um, we can see like how expensive parking lots are. You know, and they have said their intentions publicly for all to hear. So if you go to government official website in the U.S., you will see what I'm talking about and what is actually happening already. Just go to the weforeign.org, which is the World Economic Forum website, okay, webpage, and read the article titled The 20 Humanitarian Crisis the World Cannot, cannot Ignore in 2023 and what to do about them. They said in order to combat climate change, and we have to understand it and do something about them. And what, uh, what they are planning to, to do is to control how people get to work, to school, and to hospital. And how we move in general, it means like striking a new deal for the forcibly put in lockdowns rules on how many cars are, are allowed to you in urban areas. In France, for example, and some outdoor events uh, are banned in certain regions because uh, the one part of France reach 40 degrees, degrees Celsius. A scientists have said that period of intense heat is becoming more frequent and lasting longer because of global warming. In you know, August of um, 2003, heat wave killed over 11,000 people in France as the temperature rose to 40 degrees Celsius which is 104 Fahrenheit. As reported by The Guardian on August 29, 2003, so England is bringing these new lockdown policies to organize cities into designated lockdown zones, and their main objective is to take away people's cars and force them to stay put, okay? The World Economic Forum creates uh, the 15-minute city concept, uh, which means every urban city I mean, every urban citizen should be able to meet their basic needs. With a 15-minute walk or cycle ride from their residence, this concept was created by French Colombian scientist Carlos Moreno and is already being uh, adopted in Spain, France, and also Colombia. Uh, they, 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 are, they, they are rearranging cities across the world to suit climate change. Therefore, their solution is to create a lockdown like COVID pandemics, lockdowns, okay? Keeping everyone at home, just like they did to us for two years. So go to their website and search for cities and urbanization articles. You will see what I'm talking about, all right? And um, in England, Oxfordshire Council is to, they're going to try a climate lockdown starting January, 2024. They are going to lock into one of their six zones to save the planet from global warming. They are going to place uh, electronic gates on key streets and roads in and out of the city, which means cars will, will be prohibited and confined citizens to their neighborhood and Ox Oxfordshire, or what a hard city to spell. Well, we're gonna talk, US believe that Ukraine can retake Crimea, US official they, they believe that uh, Ukraine has the capability to conduct an offensive to retake uh, Crimea from Russia, which may provoke a nuclear war, you know, evidently. According to NBC News reporting, the administration official in the Congress was trying to, to explain why it is important for the U.S. to keep supporting Ukraine. And Crimea was uh, actually was part of Ukraine until 2014, if you guys remember, when Vladimir Putin invaded the peninsula 
and the referendum of Crimean citizens close. I mean, they choose to be part of Russian Federation. But this is a dangerous move because I believe that Putin would cross the nuclear line if Crimea is retaken by Ukraine. Uh, what a dangerous world we're living in, people, which makes it more clear that the only solution for the end of this war is negotiation. I've been saying this all this year, since the beginning. And then we're going to talk about, there's a diplomatic standoff between uh, Burkina Faso and Ghana. Because Ghanaian President Nana Okufuado uh, complained to the U.S. Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, and during the U.S.-Africa summit in Washington, the Burkina Bears has hired uh, Russian mercenaries which provoked an easy tension between this, these African brothers, right? Mr. Traore, Traore, President of Burkina Faso, is summoned, is summoned Ghana ambassador in Ouagadougou, capital of Burkina Faso, to protest the Ghanaian president's remarks, okay? President Nano Kufu Ado from Ghana says, quoting, Today, uh, Russian troops are on our northern border, Burkina, with Burkina Faso has now entered into an arrangement to go along with Mali, uh, to Mali in employing uh, the Wagner forces there. Here's my honest opinion, okay, about this situation. In my opinion, I think this is this is bitching or grambling, okay. First of all, the Ghanaian president has no business telling on his brothers and neighbor in Burkina Faso. That's begging. And he recently said in, a, in his speech that Africans should stop begging and he's doing the same thing. And for me, that's hypocrisy. I'm very disappointed with President Nana Akufuado. Uh, I love Ghana. I love Ghana so much. But Ghanaians, your president is behaving like a, a little five years old kid. And this type of self hate needs to end. Okay? It is a shame that we Africans are still not united and and uh and trade with each other uh with open borders to one okay at the exact point we can only blame these idiots or so-called presidents leading their country at the same time we gotta blame these peoples okay people that vote for them you know they are responsible too we got everything we need to be free and very successful but we still hate it we still hate each other and uh, we, uh, we keep begging rich nation. And Ghanaian president is definition of talk to talk, but never walk the walk, if you know what I mean. Million of Africans still have colonized mindset. It can be changed for the better, but we got we to gotta stop divisive behavior and aiding each other. And this has to come from the people getting a new proud mindset of who we are and where we come from is crucial for change. We Africans have to, uh, we have no friends in the world. They are only temporary allies. Complaining against Burkina Faso is a very mean attitude coming from Ghana's president. If he thinks that the U.S. cares about Ghana, he's a foolish man. Okay? You don't, you don't throw your brother under the bus for later to give a speech about the unification of Africa and how we need to stop begging and that's hypocrisy, okay? This is self hate. It needs to end, all right? It needs to end. I'm Bob Sankarian. Thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe, like and share. Have a nice day.